Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this Halloween baking video. Okay, to start with, I'm going to be using my cupcake recipe. I do have the recipe on my channel. So I'm just going to remove in some of them, like the top part with my knife. So I can start with the flat cupcake. My oven sometimes is just too hot, so this is what happens. Yeah, I'm just going to start with some whipped cream that I colored using green uh, gel food coloring. So I'm just going to add some on the top of my cupcake, and with my spatula, I'm just going to kind of like flatten the cupcake. Once I have done that, I'm just going to use my toothpick, and I'm just going to um, pretty much sketch my Frankenstein and go with my black gel food coloring. My whipped cream in my tipless piping bags that i just love them i use them all the time i have a review on them as well but i'm just going to first fill the space then use my toothpick to just you know smooth the whole area to just make it look smooth this is the first time that i was trying this black gel food coloring and i just didn't really like it that much so just so you know the brand that i used is going to be linked below so you can check it out if you want but yeah and then i'm just going to be marking the eyes with my toothpick with my just plain whipped cream in another piping bag i'm just going to add the eyes and on top of that i'm just going to add the small two black dots in the middle to just make them like the eyes then i'm just going to add the mark I'm just going to be one line like that and then a few lines going the opposite direction then the little nose which is just a tiny dot and then the mouth which is just like a, a zigzag motion and that's pretty much it for this one now let's move on to this one for this one the mummy i'm just going to be using my wilton tip number 103 but i'm just going to first cover with plain uh, white whipped cream I'm not going to cover the whole cupcake because i want some cupcake to be see-through but i'm just going to add the eyes i do have the tutorial for the eyes if you want to check it out it's super easy and super simple to make but they look super cute they sell this kind of eyes but it's better to make them they're super simple to make super affordable as well and quite handy because you can use them for a lot of stuff like faces and characters and all that stuff and that's it for this one we're going to be working on the creepy eye now i started this one with the like cupcake as it was i didn't remove the excess whatsoever but i just added some whipped cream on top and just smooth the whole thing as i could now i chose to use a plain whipped cream but a lot of people use green for the eye it's pretty much up to you but i just wanted to go for a more clean look for this then i'm going to be using some red gel food coloring with my tipless piping bag again and some whipped cream i'm just going to mark the veins so i'm just going to be adding random shapes like this they are not even lines like straight lines just if you're shaking too much this is going to be perfect for you because the more random and the messier and the shakier you can make them the better then i'm going to go back to my tipless piping bag with my black whipped cream and i'm just going to add a circle in the middle i'm just going to make it as big as i want it to be finally i'm just going to be smoothing this uh, black part with my spatula and that's pretty much it for the creepy eye now i'm just going to be moving on to the i call a dainty uh, pumpkin because I think it looks super cute. I'm just going to add a rose with my Wilton 1M using orange. My camera is making this look like a really weird orange but I promise it was orange orange. Then I'm going to add the face as I can because this is not a flat surface so it's gonna be a bit trickier to just add the face with whipped cream. When once I have done that I'm just going to add some green using my 352 I think it is from Wilton and that's pretty much it for the dainty pumpkin cupcake it's now time for the ghost i'm just going to start with a flat cupcake and added some whipped cream on top but yeah, i'm just going to use my bigger tip from wilton and it's okay if you're not perfect with it because it's a ghost so it's not supposed to be perfect as you can see mine was like super bad but it's okay it's a ghost and i'm just going to add a face a tiny face and as you can see my whipped cream is like a weird consistency is because it was and i'm not going to be using it again but yeah i just said i would just let you know and now for the spider web i'm just going to be taking a flat cupcake and i'm just going to be adding some whipped cream on top again smoothing the top until it's just like as flat as i can make it to be then i'm going to go back with my black whipped cream and i'm just going to add this circle the big one all around it and one dot in the middle and another circle between those two and a big one around all of that and then i'm just going to go with my toothpick and kind of make lines from the circle towards the end just to make it to look like a spider web 
Now, a few things that I wanted to mention about this. I wanted to mention that the black yellow food coloring, I didn't really like how it behaved with my frosting. I'm not really sure if it's the frosting itself because I wasn't really happy with it. And I'm not really sure if it's the color itself because I have other like colors on the same brand and I never had this issue. It kind of bleeds, so I just wanted to mention that. And now, last but not least, and this is one that I just didn't like that much, the spider. For this one, I'm going to start with a purple a base of uh, whipped cream that I did the same thing that I did before, like flatten the whole thing. And then I'm just going to uh, sketch the body of my spider. Then I'm going to go with my black whipped cream and I'm just going to add first the body of the spider, smoothing it and then working towards the legs of my spider. And then finally, I'm just going to add two yellow sprinkles to resemble the eyes. And this is pretty much the ideas that I want to share with you. I really like them. They are super easy to make. They are kind of like last minute if you are running out of time and you just want to make something quick, easy and fun. I have to say the whipped cream is not the best that I've tried. And as you can see, my black gel food coloring kind of started bleeding. Otherwise, I just love the ideas and hopefully you like them too. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I have a baking playlist on my channel if you want to check it out. Let me know which one is your favorite one and happy halloween i hope you had an amazing time thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later bye guys